up to Elmer Falls Dam today. It's nice and sunny out. There's an uncharted road. Me and Joseph are gonna walk to the cemetery. Finally got some much needed rain. It's raining right now, it's not much though. Today is uh, May 20th, Wednesday. Sorry, May 20th. Yeah, maybe 20th. Wednesday or Thursday, one of the two. I'll correct it in the subtitles if I have to. I can't keep track of days anymore. Okay, I checked my phone, it's Thursday. Thought I'd get that clear though. But today's the day I gotta help Larry. Today's the day that I have to help him. We'll set up his uh, desktop. Uh, we'll have to go buy a Wi-Fi adapter. He says he wants a wireless mouse, but we'll see if they got him over at XBabylon and stuff like that. I had put out more video than I thought, so I'm gonna have to get that vlog all edited up and put it out today. Well, I had to go get Joseph early today from school. school. Joseph was being bad in school. Get going. What they yeah, he was being bad. But anyways, I had to go get him early. Uh, it's been bad the whole week this week. I don't know why, but he has been. So, uh, and I tried to talk to him yesterday about being good, but no. Nope. So, he's going to lose some of his privileges. There's one thing I couldn't fix on Larry's, uh, um, computer I couldn't get going is the printer. I couldn't get it going for the life of me. I was sitting there trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, we bought the little adapter thing to put it into the thing. That way it would, the monitor would pick it up, but it didn't work. I can't get that. We can't. I tried everything. I'm like, do you know any tech guys to get it going? It's like, yeah, I know some tech dudes. So hopefully those tech guys can fix it and get it going because I don't have a clue. Okay, today is... Um, May 22nd, Saturday. We're going up to the half feet place to get some shoes for Joseph. I want to make one little mention before I go on today's vlog. Uh, as of late, I haven't been keeping my videos. I've only been keeping the final video that gets exported. As of today, from now on, I'm not going to delete any of my videos that are not included in YouTube so that way I can look at them and see if there's any improvement that I can make. Yeah, so we gotta go get uh, shoes for the boy that's in front of me, Joseph. He needs new shoes. Really badly, he needs new shoes. Um, yeah. I've been needing to get him some... We walk a ton, so you know... Uh, he needs shoes, so... We're gonna go get those. I didn't get a chance to go and see if those sticks were gathered. Uh, didn't get a chance to get over there, but nonetheless, I am going to check out it today and see if he'll let me take them. I think there's gonna be more canes than anything, but I'm definitely gonna make it. Take a shot and go for it. Yes, yeah, so we're making our trip up to the uh, Happy Feet for the kids. They've been doing this at our church for as long as I can remember. But not when I first started, but I know they've been doing it for a long while now. At least a good five or six years. They don't say, oh, Michael, you weren't right on that one. Uh, uh, I'm not 100% certain. Wind's blowing like crazy again. But anyways, yeah, we're going to head up there get those for Joseph he really needs them saying he goes through shoes really fast I think
think they're giving socks away for certain. I'm not 100% certain. We'll see. They're going to give away socks. I'm not certain on that one. After that, we're going to see if that guy's there. He'll give me the go ahead on getting some sticks. Hold still, Jojo. Those are his new shoes. Mm -hmm. New shoes. Joseph finally got new shoes. And some socks. Brand new pair of socks and everything like that. Uh, we went up there. He got them. They took him in there. Picked out a pair of shoes. He wears size 11. So, which is kind of odd. Because you know, you usually buy him size 12 or 13. Give him a little wiggle room. Either way, it's okay. I'm not really mad about that. So... I'm gonna probably go drink my coffee and go get see if those sticks are there. Okay, so I have a rule that I follow. Only take the sticks if you get permission. Well, I one time I did, but nobody was there and it was laying on the side of the road, so I just took it anyways. I always ask for permission, so I'm gonna go and talk and see if he's there or not. So I got the permission to go in here and dig through, rummage through it, and see what I can find. I already found one. Yeah. I'm gonna just pick through it. Okay, I got the handles, canes. Most of we made the canes. I got a couple I can make into like silly like knobs. So I'm gonna do that. There we go. Okay, I got a bunch of them that we made into. Uh, this, I got the sticks at home. Yeah, Larry gave me right home, so uh, got some of the sticks. into like a cane. If you made it into a cane, I'm gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is make it into a cane and then I'm gonna carve it out to make it look like a hand carved cane handle. Future project. Another batch for cane handles. Cut that stupid thing off. And the rest are gonna be made into uh I think I only have one. What's the matter? So I'm gonna get to that next. I think I'll keep this. I can make this into like a something like a club. I'm gonna keep it. I didn't think I was gonna keep it. Uh, one thing I might mention. Uh, keep them long. Keep them long until you're ready to work on them. Then come to the size you need for cane handles. It's usually about seven inches. Because you're gonna lose about three fourths of an inch, you know, rounding over each side. I like to do. Yeah, so keep it long. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna wax these ends. Probably not gonna do it today though.
Okay, I got the walking sticks all gathered up. Uh, um, got them all gathered up, so uh, that was tiring. I gotta get the wax on there. I'll do that later on. Okay. Uh, Tammy was coming with me, but she didn't. She decided to turn around and go back. Uh, I didn't think she wanted to deal with whatever's going on. That's how it goes a lot of times. I had her turn around and go back home. I gotta go do a few things at the store for my mother. It's a gorgeous day. Absolutely gorgeous out here, except for the wind. I don't like the wind too well. Yeah, I think that when I watched that one video of the vlog, it, it, I could tell on I, I own a couple of those days were quite windy. As long as you can hear me and not have that crazy noise. Yeah. Put the feather down, Jojo. No. Yeah, so we'll get that done. Today was such a good day. It's a nice day. Um Yeah. Got all those sticks put away. Uh I'm probably gonna peel them. Peel the bark off because I like the color that you get like from this. I like that color, but you gotta sand them quite a bit, and uh, you gotta use a carpet knife. You can't use a pocket knife to carve the bark. If you use a carpet knife, you're gonna cut right into the wood. The carpet knife makes it to where you can uh, peel them with ease. I'll probably do a video on me peeling them. Well, I gotta get home. I'm gonna call it a day today. Jojo, get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. Let's go. I'm going to call it a day. I'm done for today. Go home and peel some bark off the wood. And I'm hoping to get this uploaded. It's going to be a short one. It's not going to be a long vlog this time. Uh, I'm going to get this done. So I'm calling it a day. I'm done. I'll have plenty more videos to do later on. It might get rain today, I don't know. For now, I'm off for church, so. Yeah, so. See how things go. I gotta get home today. Probably gonna have to do some more work on my sticks or something like that. Or we might very well do laundry. I don't know for certain. I don't know. It's still up in the air on that one. We're off to church. I was thinking about getting the GoPro 9 uh, down the road. I'm thinking about pulling the trigger on getting the GoPro 9. Don't know. Probably won't be any time this year, but I was thinking, thinking about the GoPro 9. Uh, I thought I would try that out. It's got rock solid stabilization. This one's got good stabilization. It's just, it's not hyper smooth stabilization. And uh, I thought, well, if I want to get it going good, I want to do like a GoPro 9. I mean, do a comparison of, is the cheaper version better than the more expensive version? So I'm going to be thinking about that a lot, but right now I want to think about church. Yeah, I got some... Uh, Wood yesterday. I think you saw the video on that. I mean, uh, I put, I did the video on that yesterday. Fortunately, I didn't bring the right tools to take it home with, so Larry gave me a ride, helped me carry the sticks home. Joseph, turn it off. Uh, so yeah, those will be mainly. Those going to be made into canes. Water's going off. But anyways, yeah, those going to be made into canes. A lot of them are going to be made into canes. One's going to be made into a club. I'm gonna shorten one of them into a cane because maybe like a knob-like handle. Usually don't get the opportunity to make wood like that, but well, 
in that pile there wasn't really much for walking sticks. I got one that would be a potential walking stick. I'm going to try and straighten a little bit, but when you get those big knots, it's hard to straighten those big knots. I'll have to see what the future brings for those. It's fun when you go to church. I mean, the summer went great today, and all of a sudden, this one lady, I'm not going to name names, went up there and did her uh, preaching. I mean, a song, sorry, not preaching, a song. And what did she do? For two or three, I got in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Matthew 18 20. Oh, nice job twisting the scriptures. That doesn't mean that. Let me explain for a second what that really means before these people can drive by. Let's talk about church discipline. Church discipline. Read Matthew verses 15 through 20. That clearly talk about church discipline. If I'm alone in my closet, Jesus is there with me. Now, people have made silly ideas about that. But other than that, church was good. But stop misusing the scriptures. That's what Satan does well. He misquoted the Bible to Jesus in Matthew 4 when Jesus is fasting in the wilderness for 40 days. So I expect any less when people misuse the Bible. You know how many times I've heard people misuse the Bible, misquote scriptures, mishandle the Word of God when it's precious and we should be handling it with great care. Um, you know how many times I've heard Matthew 18, 20 misquoted? I've lost count on how many times I've heard Matthew 18, 20 misquoted. Hundreds and hundreds of times I've heard that verse misquoted, and I've always had to correct them. I hate it, but I have to. So they got these benches here now, which I didn't even know they had them here. That's how long it's been since I've been here. Uh. Oh yeah, same old kind of benches they used to make all the time. Problem is, they put a finish on there and they never come back and recode them. And they did this one over here too. It looks like. I guess they wanted people to sit down outside. I guess so people could sit down. Well, it's nice that they made them. These are quick and easy to make. These people, they make these like they spit these out all the time. Problem is, they don't maintain the finish. Then they wear out and they rot and then they're done for. I'm hoping we get some much needed rain. Uh, Lord knows we can new, use the rain. Um, I've been meditating a little bit here and there. On Luke 9.23-24. That what Jared preached today was on discipleship. Uh, for a long time ago, when I first talked to Jared about discipleship, it was some crazy thing, and he said I wasn't a disciple of Christ. Until you become a disciple of Christ, you know, it's like, oh, what? What are you talking about, Jared? Isn't a disciple of Christ a follower of Christ? It needs to be a follower of Christ and observe his commands and teaching. I was doing that, and I didn't get what he was trying to tell me. But frankly, I didn't agree with it, and to this day I didn't agree with it, but he changed his ways about that. Um, again, he's pushing on this relationship garbage. I don't care, I'm going to say it flat out, it's garbage. It's building of, how many people you know that are not saved, da 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 da. I, I, it's not the people I know, but the people I don't know. Now I want the people I know to be saved, but there's a lot more that I don't know that I want to be saved. This backwards thinking. Where do we get this from? It, it all stems with uh, the fact that we're lazy when it comes to preaching. You need to preach the law. That is a tank of it. Show them the moral law. Go read Ray Comfort's book on how best kept secret. That will open your eyes on how to witness to people. 
it doesn't take much to get that down once you do it and then go out there and practice it and start doing it more and more and more the easier it becomes um, how can that be so hard I don't know I don't think it can be hard at all I don't think it should be hard to do it's starting to rain and I'm done for the day we're getting some much needed rain I can't complain about this at all we need that rain um, we have needed it for quite a while so I'm happy we got it but I'm done um, I'm going to go and picking through my sticks to see which ones I want to work on next for a walking stick. The ones that are dry, that is. Go pick through them and get to work on making them into a walking stick. Rain's coming. I'm happy about the rain. I actually like this rain right now. I actually enjoy the rain right now. I'm actually happy that we're getting rain. Uh, maybe we can get some more. Today is uh, May 24th. Just talking with Larry. About, my, you know, uh, I've gotten a lot better with walking sticks. I was talking about how I improved. Uh, I got a beautiful video today on a, a walking stick video. Uh, I'm hoping to get that done. Today I'm going to get to work on editing that and put it together and put it on my main channel. I changed my main channel's name from just my name to Mike Trevan Walking Stick Maker. So cause that's what I am but I just don't want to show videos where I'm just making walking sticks. And I like doing that and it's fine I'll keep doing it. But I want to show you know steps on how to get these from uh, when they're green when they're uh, finished how to dry them how to season them how to finish them how to finish the finish which I got another video coming out soon for that on how to use rotten stone video number two which goes a little more detail and I'm going to have to do an introduction to that video and why I'm doing it again but uh, yeah there's just a lot of steps that go into it and so I want to be well rounded I can't just stick to one little niche, and that is just make walking sticks. I want to explain how to go about doing it, which I have been doing. Usually spring rain isn't that cold, but today my hands are cold from the spring rain. Usually, I don't know. It's weird. It's kind of cold-like. Uh, I don't get why, but my hands are like really cold. Yeah, my hands are freezing cold right now. I don't know why. They're not warm. And, uh, I usually get hit with spring rain. My hands don't get cold. They just get all wet. But this, spring rain, has made my hands kind of cold. It's kind of odd. It's been a weird, unusual spring. It's usually never this cold. I've been thinking about a few things while I'm sitting here walking. A lot of times I'll sit and think about some scriptures. Right now, I've been thinking about a verse that I memorized a long time ago. Psalms 143, verse 1. Hear my prayer, Lord, in your faithfulness. Answer in your righteousness. No, hear my prayer, Lord, give me mercy. Give ear to my pleas for mercy in your faithfulness. Answer me in your righteousness. That's the verse. Uh, <clears throat> it's talking about the faithfulness of God and His righteousness. And, uh, to plead His faithfulness in prayer. So, uh, yeah. Well, that's what I'll do. I'll start to compile verses in my head and try to figure out what they're trying to teach me. Develop my understanding of that verse. Make sure it's correct. Go through historical theology and make sure that it lines up with what I'm thinking about. And if it doesn't, I will correct my thinking on that to match that. Because most of the time, that's going to be more accurate than my own imagination. Nothing wrong with thinking about it, but you got to think about it in its biblical context and understand its true understanding and not just make up an understanding on that. So, yeah. The other thing I was thinking about, well, I had that stock of wood that I have to get made into uh, 
walking sticks, but I gotta kill the bark off of them with a carpet knife. Um, not only kill the bark off, but um, seal the ends with wax. That was the other thing I was thinking about too. I posted something on my Facebook, actually I shared it from uh, the Pondere Museum, which is right there, about um, walking sticks that I donated to them to sell. I haven't got the time yet to do the bio. Noisy, noisy. But yeah, I gotta write out a brief bio on there. I think I'll just put a bio of me making walking sticks from assorted hardwoods in this area. And I use a raw linseed oil finish. And uh, I'll put how many years I've been doing it, which is almost nine and a half to ten years. So I'll put that down as well. So yeah, I got a few things, I got a projects I gotta do.